the scientific and creative mind are inextricably linked. How do we know? We can take a look at some of our world's greatest minds. Darwin, Einstein, and even Leonardo da Vinci. Despite Benjamin Franklin's phenomenal contributions to science, even he had his roots embedded in the arts. When Ben wasn't electrocuting kites, he was playing the piano, the guitar, the violin, and even composing music. As we talk about innovations to make scientific education more interesting for students, we've forgotten an incredibly important fact. Science is creative. There's been an abundance of talks and reforms and ideas regarding reforms in our educational systems. However, computer science education is traditionally undervalued or even left out of these conversations. And that's a shame because computer science creates a clear link between the scientific and creative mind. Thus, I insist on a substantial increase in computer science education. Specifically, we must expose students to the topic through utilizing computational thinking, experiential learning, and the infusion of arts into computer science. Google and Gallup have spent the past year conducting surveys all across the United States. An attempt to find out why US students lag behind others when it comes to computer science skills. Currently, only 40% of schools teach computer science. However, 90% of parents want their kids to learn coding skills. So why aren't we teaching our students computer science? There's a disconnect between students, parents, teachers, and educational institutions regarding the importance and necessity of computer science. As businesses attempt to become more economical, autonomous, and productive, the use of informational technology will grow. And due to this, there's going to be an increased dependency on computers within our workforce. This is exactly why it is necessary for our schools to teach the fundamentals of computer science. Computer science can be applied to any skill, hobby, task, or subject. In my free time, I've had the opportunity to apply computer science to flying drones, athletics, and even financial investing. However, these hobbies are not traditionally linked with computer science. But after attaining the basics and applying them to my pre-existing hobbies, I was able to enjoy them much, much more with a whole new level of efficiency. This demonstrates how anybody in the audience right now can take the basics of computer science and apply it to their pre-existing hobbies to make it even more stimulating. If we're going to make a positive change, we must begin thinking about computer science education differently. For instance, experiential learning and computational thinking are two terms that must be introduced to describe how kids learn best. Kids not only want to have fun while learning, but they also want their learned skills to be applicable and helpful to their daily lives and along with our society. Thus, the best way to expose students to computer science is through providing students with real-life capstone projects, which are linked with real business clients. This enables them to witness the key role that computer science plays in our day-to-day -day lives. Alongside experiential learning is computational thinking. Computational thinking must be employed as well to teach students the most efficient thought process to solve problems in our society. There are many large-scale impacts that originate from the lack of computer science education. For starters, Students who are not well-versed in the fundamentals of computer science enter the workforce extremely underprepared. And due to this, they have trouble finding steady work in our digital economy. The young people sitting in this room right now are the future problem solvers of our world. And we have the task of efficiently utilizing technology to fulfill this key role. Computer science has become very conceptual, theoretical, and abstract in the past few years. Due to this, even experienced programmers 
are having trouble programming the cutting edge technology, such as artificial intelligence. The perfect analogy to describe the situation and why it occurs is learning a new linguistic language. Just like learning new languages, students are in a better position to learn new programming approaches. The brains of experienced programmers are programmed in a way where they can only program in the way that they learned initially, in a concrete manner. Thus, our best hope for these abstract algorithms are the young people sitting right in front of me right now. Students who are relatively young and have minimum coding experience have pliable minds, which are able to comprehend and build very abstract algorithms. Nurturing programmers at a young age is extremely important to ensure that the fundamentals of computer science become engraved in the brains of students. The subject of art has been very influential to the topic of computer science. Art has changed the way programmers create their algorithms. Art has forced manufacturers and creators of cutting edge technology to take aesthetics into account when creating products for consumers. The best example of this are the phones sitting in your pockets right now, or in your hands if you're already bored of me talking. <laughs> <laughs> to see art and science coexisting, you can check out the beautiful graphics on the display of any of your electronic devices. After speaking with multiple students interested in learning computer science, I discovered that there are only two barriers holding students back from code, learning how to code, education and opportunity. I also found out that there are many benefits that originate from the topic of computer science in our day-to-day -day lives in our society that we don't see every day or that we don't witness. Fueled by these external benefits, I co-founded an organization called Code for Change to solve for the lack of computer science education in our school systems. My organization's goal is to provide students with the tools and utensils necessary that constitute computer literacy. Code for Change ensures that students involved are completing real life application projects. These projects are linked with real business clients. And this ensures that students experience the healthy pressure and team dynamics that accompany entering the workforce. These unique learning projects that my organization provides is our organization's cornerstone. We must ensure that members of the educational sector know that students and parents alike have interest in computer science. After exposing myself to the topic of computer science, I was able to enjoy my hobbies much, much more with a whole new level of efficiency. I began to look at events and problems in my life with fresh perspectives. I didn't come here to make computer science a new hobby for all of you, although that could be an outcome. I came here to speak about computer science education. However, I also wanted to inspire every single one of you to apply the fundamentals of computer science to your pre-existing educational interests, future professional endeavors, and hobbies. The efficiency you gain can be very, very surprising. I can see the future Benjamin Franklins and Einsteins sitting right before my eyes. Thank you.